Well, 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 Capricorn, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Capricorns. This is the year 2021, and the year begins um, with the call to readings, January, February, and March. Hmm. Capricorn, the universe. Mm. Whatever is happening, Capricorn, you're bringing down. <laughs> you're bringing down an end in something. You, Capricorn, have uh, enough of something. You're using Saturn energy. If you notice, Capricorns. You Capricorns have uh, the most upright cards. Everything is in reverse. And it says, if you Capricorns, whatever you're doing, whatever you're creating, you're bringing information and you're helping everyone, even at work. It's as if you have... Um, I acknowledge and wisdom and you Capricorns are going to be using that to, to help humanity to get some sort of a new start. But what you're also doing at the workplace, you're bringing back balance and stability. You're creating a wonderful alliance of energy with people. No fighting. You're in the Zen mode. You're like Zen. And this is so powerful. So powerful. You young Capricorns between the ages of 18 and 45 has created a whole lot of issue. Whole lot of issue. In the month of January, you have to resolve these issues. So young Capricorns between the age of 18 and 45, you have created so much issue for people and for yourself. And um, there's no new start that is coming up at this moment. But as you get later on in this year, okay? So young Capricorns between the age of 18 and 45, January is not going to be the month for you guys to make any start, any changes. If you don't have a job, um, you got to wait until March before anything can happen or this period to run off, Okay. Information is coming in in the month of February. Some sort of a situation that is transpiring. A lot of you are dealing with a fire sign man. Whoever this fire sign man is. So I see you are like Zim. I see that you Capricorns so have bring down Two people, a fire sign man and a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person, and you have bring down this corporation. Whoever this man is, this man has created a whole lot of issues for you. Falsify and change documentation, broke protocol. Try to use your business information. Try to falsify. I'm pretending to you. Give your business information to his side piece, Jake. Access client access and data. All other things is going on, Capricorn. 
Oh, a lot of things is going on, Capricorn. So, I see if your boss is an Aries Leo fire sign person, they're going to be finding out what this man has done. And I see you are in the Zen mode because it's as if, hmm. So you thought you were going to get away with it. And a lot of people are realizing what this man and who this man is. And I see you're going to be creating some sort of a situation and making sure that this man and his organization is stopped. So, it, can, it could be someone who deliver goods, but you order this, but you realize that what you order, the goods, you're paying for it, the goods isn't coming in. Goods are delayed. When the goods come in, is not what you ordered. They're selling you and it's giving you something else. And you're like, oh, no. So I hear that you Capricorns are going to be trying to figure out if everyone is having the same issue and problem from this creditor. And you're really going to be looking at it and really taking it in hand. So what I see is that a lot of you are going to be making some sort of a decision because of some sort of information that is coming in about new start. You're going to be standing your ground, so And uh, um, some sort of unexpected um, situation is going to be working out, especially for you Capricorns that has been just uh, um, really creating and really, you know, standing in your truth. So people at the workplace... Um, Sometimes they don't stand in their own truth because they are afraid of what they bought their boss or other um, colleagues will say. And I see you Capricorns are going to be standing in your truth. Whatever is happening in transpire, I see you Capricorns are going to be saying, okay, I'm saying by, um, you know, my first reaction. So I see like business meetings and that sort of a thing. And you Capricorns are really... Um, you know, standing in your truth and really creating an you know, easier method for people and realizing that uh, a system is broken and the system needs to be ill. And if the system is not created, um, you're going to be realizing that uh, um, if they don't look at the process of how things are going and create some sort of a new procedure, uh, it will never be, um, never be the same. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see that you, um, Capricorn are like at the, uh, uh, where, you know, it's time for a new start. And I see, um, a situation is transpiring where you younger people, I see no new start because of some sort of a network that you have with a Leo man. Um, they're going to be um, asking you to leave or some of you are going to be realizing um, that January people are looking at you strangely and it's because uh, they know of a network uh, that you are in a network with a fine sign man, um, an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius and this man is connected to some sort of a criminal organization. So a lot of you Capricorn are going to be realizing that January is as if people, uh, you know, are looking at you differently. People are looking at you differently and it's going to be realizing and understanding that whatever is happening and transpiring is not the same. And it's because they have found out and have some sort of information over you, young Capricorns, between the ages of 18 and 45 and the connection. That you have with a Leo man. Okay. Information. Um, 
is going to be coming out about a Leo man. Is this your boss? Is this your supervisor? Who is this person? Because if this is a client, you're going to be receiving some sort of information that is not going to be pretty. And you're going to be realizing, I need to either let this client know that I can't work with them any further. Um, because a lot of people at, at your company is going to be thinking, especially if you're a lawyer, yeah, I can't take this. Job. And they realize that this client has, uh, um, you know, acts for some sort of a uh, um, session because they want um, you guys to look at their cases and people are going to be looking at you and thinking, wow, wow, the hell you um, end up with this person or how did you know, how did you have, and I see that the, um, the boss higher up is going to say, no, we are not taking on any more clients because they're trying to get rid of you Capricorns. So if you're a lawyer, a doctor or you work in some sort of medical field, um, I see that your team is trying to get rid of you. Um, they didn't really like you and then with this coming up and they are finding out who this man is and the collaboration between you and this man, they're like, no, 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 no. Um, so I see that uh, your boss or supervisor, they have already know of the you and the collaboration with this man and they are going to be trying to get rid of you Capricorns all right that is for some people now the energy of the universe and as we look at the cup um in the squirtle and this is why I do the business reading with cups what is happening in transpired is that a lot of you Capricorns are going to be um receiving some sort of a news and you're going to be standing your ground against a Leo man. Whoever this Leo man is, I see you standing your grounds against this Leo man. And I say, no, no, no. I don't know who this person is. No, I have never asked this person. I don't even know who this person is. So I see you Capricorn, some sort of a news is coming in. And you're going to stand your ground. No, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. And no... I don't want to do any business with you. So I see a lot of you Capricorns. It's like you're in a Zen moon and you are really showing your boss that, hey, nothing you do is going to be, um, you know, pulling my string because I have no, I have, I, I don't want to deal with you basically. So it could be a boss. It could be a colleague or, or it could be some supervisor or a manager. And it's as if this person just keep on knocking and keep on creating a lot of chaos. And you're like, Jesus, um, aren't you realizing? I, I, I have no intention. Um, and I see you just sitting in your Zim mode. And you're saying, I'm thinking, universe, please remove this person from me. And I'm telling you, the universe is going to be answering to get rid of this fireside man. It is as if universe, I give this, this man no consent to have any communication with me. I'm banishing this fireside man, this Leo man from out of my existence in this timeline and all timeline to come. I wave your magic wand. Okay, so I see that this is what is going to be coming up where some of you Capricorns is going to be realizing, Jesus Christ, let it be. Let me just stay in my Zen mode. Okay, so as you look at February, March, some sort of information is going to be coming in that uh, mm -mm, they're moving on. Uh, they are moving on. It's good time. They are moving on. And I see a lot of you are standing your ground and said, listen, these two people have been just creating chaos for a company and um, this person needs to go. And I see that that's what you're going to be doing. So I want to say to each and every person, thank you so much. In order to see the extended of this reading, connect with the channel, use the link, um, the blue join button in order to catch these extended reading. I am moving forward. I'd love to see you on the other side. If not, I'm saying namaste until next time.